This is clear evidence of a highly astute and competent leadership and financial management of the fund. To see these results for 2022, we will be, the members will be assured as to the soundness of the fund's financial position, the safety of their own contributions and investments, and the fund's continuing reliability as a provider of key financial services and as a vehicle for, the pers for their personal savings and investments. It is very encouraging that through the years, that in spite of periods of volatility, uncertainty, and sometimes very complex challenges, including the, super, the, the supervening pandemic, the Pagibig Fund has remained true to its original vision. And, ma and that is to provide a secure savings program, to be able to give dependable and, and affordable housing loans for the benefit of its members. I enjoin all your officers and employees to be guided by the principles of transparency and accountability, as you always have, in carrying out your mandate and ensuring judicious management of the fund and of the members' hard-earned money. It goes without saying that as public servants, we must maintain the trust and the confidence reposed in us by government institutions, especially those financial in nature, and more importantly, by the people. Nalulugod kong ibalita sa lahat ng ating uh, Pag-ibig Fund members na nag-declare nag na tayo ng dividends for 2022. For our regular savings, it is at 6.53%. And for our uh, MP2 savings, it is at 7.03%. Paano ko makukuha yung dividendo? So yung dividendo po ay i-credit po natin sa inyong mga individual uh, savings uh, account para pagka, uh, pagkayo ay mag-MPN loan, kasama na yun, makikita nyo yun. O kaya pagkayo naman ay qualified na, na mag-withdraw, kasama sa mai-withdraw nyo yung inyong dividend earnings. Pero yung mga MP2 savers natin kasi... Yung five years kasi yung MP2 savers, may, meron kasing uh, option na pwede niyang i-withdraw yung dividend lang niya. Yung mga yan, nag-off na ganun, eh pwede namang papadalhan namin sila ng notice kung na-credit na namin sa kanilang mga accounts yung dividends. So, gaya ng nabanggit kanina ni Secretary Akusar, kami ang unang nagbigay ng commitment na worth $250 billion para sa developmental loans. Ito ay gagamitin para makapagpatayo ng mga condominium units para sa ating mga manggagawang Pilipino.